amen amen um good morning everybody uh god is faithful is loving and is kind he has choose to show us mercy even when we don't merit it so um, to him be all the glory to him be all the honor we say thank you lord for all the wondrous things you're doing in our lives we cannot thank you enough we say thank you daddy we say thank you for in jesus name we pray amen amen uh, i want to say a very big congratulations to everyone and um, to everyone and um, the 6 is 12 following the 6 is 12 podcast um we have successfully completed matthew 7 so congratulations to everyone and i believe you've been able to learn a lot from the level uh, from the revelational insights in matthew 7 so we we'll be starting matthew 8 today matthew 8 today so as you know uh, i'm reading from the new living translation and my name remains Etsim Jeremiah. Okay, Matthew 8. Jesus is a man with leprosy. Jesus is a man with le- leprosy. There's a large crowd followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him. And knelt before and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus said to him, Don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. These will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. Verse 5, uh, yeah, verse 5. When Jesus returned to, to Capernaum, a Roman officer came and pleaded with him, Lord, my young servant lies in bed, paralyzed and in a terrible pain. Jesus said, Oh, I will come and heal him. But the Roman officer said, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you come into my home. Just say the word from where you are and my servants will be healed. I know this because I'm under the authority of my superior officer and I have authority over my soldiers. I only need to say, go, and they go, or come, and they come. If I say to my slaves, do this, they do it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to those who were following him, he said, I tell you the truth, I have never seen faith like this in the whole of Israel and I tell you this that many Gentiles will come from all over the world from east and west and sit down with Abraham Isaac and Jacob at the feast of the kingdom of heaven but many Israelites those for whom the kingdom was prepared will be thrown into outer darkness 
where they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said to the Roman officer, Go back home. Because you believed, it has happened. And the young servant was hid that same hour. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Father, we ask for deep revelational insights and understanding that as your word has comfort, let it bring light to us. Let it eliminate all forms of darkness in our lives. May we not just be the heir, also the doers. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, checking from verse 1, from verse 1 down to um, the fourth verse, F- to the fourth verse, it said, Last crowd followed Jesus. A lot of persons were following Jesus. Maybe perhaps these persons were seeking for, for blessings. They were seeking for one thing or the other. Because um, we have, uh, majority of times, the, pe- the people following Jesus are seeking for something. They want something for him, from him. Now, they were following, they were running after him. While they were doing all of these, suddenly a man with leprosy approached Jesus and knelt down. Now this man knelt down and he was following Jesus or this wife and he said, Lord, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Lord, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Now take notes. This man is not placing a demand on God, on Jesus. But what this man was doing was letting him know that, Father, I believe in your word, but the option is left to you if you are willing. I know you have all the power to do it. If you are willing, you can. But on this ground, if you are willing, I know you can. He was putting back all his opinion and trust on God. Lord, if you are willing, I know you can make me whole. Hmm. How many of us know that God can do some certain things and recognize the fact or respect the fact that it's all up to God to do them if he wants to. See, I've grown to a level to know that what God does not want to do, you cannot force him to do it. Of course, it is said that what God cannot do does not exist. I have seen something that God cannot do. And that is what he does not want to do. So many a times we have Christian brothers and sisters lost their loved ones or even lost their husbands or they themselves died. And you see Christians, you see brothers, you see pastors come around, they all prayed, they fasted. But this person does not come back to life. Not because people have not prayed, but one thing is simple there. God does not want to do it. And because he does not want to, he would not do it. But in this case, this man is saying, this man with leprosy is saying, God, if you are willing, if you're still not willing, I will not be angry with you. I guess that was what he was saying. If you're not willing, I will not be angry. I will wait for other times you'll be willing. I will wait for those times you'll be willing to heal. He said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me. You can heal me. And funny enough, on that, very, on that very faithful day, Jesus was willing. Jesus himself was willing. Brethren, let me tell you, Jesus is always willing to give you that thing you're desiring. 
Jesus is always willing to heal you. He's willing to change situations around. He's willing to, to turn things around for your good. He's willing. But you see, God sees the future. He knows everything. He knows if he gives you this car, you are you 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 will get accident with it. He knows if he blesses you with so much money, that secretary of yours, that your colleague, that friend of yours, who is just a friend. be so enticing to you that you want to date you want to have him you want to have her as a side chick when you already married so why don't we allow God to be willing to do some certain things to us the scripture has already said it that is is a good father he knows what to do he would we will not ask for fish and him giving his giving us snake we will not ask for bread and him giving us stone he would always provide for us and funny enough he would not give us what will kill us this man said, Lord, if you are willing, you can hear me and make me clean. And Jesus reached out to him and said, I'm willing, so be healed. And he was healed on that day. Hmm. I pray that today, as we go about our daily activities, the Lord will stretch forth his hand, being willing to put his hands on our businesses. The Lord will be so willing to turn things and situations around for us. The Lord will be willing to heal our hearts. The Lord will be willing to put a smile on our face. The Lord is always willing to bring good things to us. For the scripture says, The earnest expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short shall not shall not but in all of these we should also acknowledge the fact that if God does it and if he does not do it God remains God he remains God we should know that fact God remains God. Now, the fate of a Roman officer, I'll be talking about this a little bit. Now, I said, um, while Jesus Christ was was going around, was, was moving, a Roman officer walked up to Jesus and said, Lord, my young servant lies in bed, paralyzed and in terrible pain. Lord, I want you to heal him. And Jesus said, wow, okay, okay. I believe God respected this call because he was an officer serving the nation, working for the nation. They were carrying out the duty and the assignments of the nation. So it was like, oh, this one is important. What happens here is that this man is important. It's like one man down. Jesus recognized the, the feeling of having a soldier down. You see, Jesus was so willing to go and heal this soldier. But what do we do in the the body of Christ these days when a soldier is down with pain? 
a soldier of Christ is down.